I almost forgot to record it for you. I'm actually walking, not barefoot, but um, walking barefoot on the rocks through the gardens. It's good for circulation. It also does like foot massage and it's healthy for internal organs. Like even as I walk, I walk gingerly and slow. I'm New York City. I'm not country man. I'm not African man. Um, I'm not used to walking barefoot in places. But the benefits of walking barefoot on pebbles and, and, and roads like this is that I'm repeating myself. So funny story. People always tell me they didn't know, especially my city people, they didn't know that roosters crow pretty much all day. They thought they crowed like in the movies <laughs> once, <laughs> once in the morning, everybody wake up. They really, they'd be crowing straight through like one, two, two in the afternoon, probably even more quails. But um, even as I walk, I feel um, the tingles going through my body. I feel like jolts of electricity, jolts of energy that could be from the ground. I'm not sure. Beautiful house. Somebody's in there cooking. I don't want to like focus on them like that. <sighs> um, so these trees were planted in 1890. So even today, um, I want to start talking about um, spiritual, spiritual wealth. And I'm not far by far physical money wealthy i have a long way to go I'm, I'm definitely late i'll make it you know i'm manifesting i'm in a, i'm in a, i feel like i'm gonna manifest qu quickly it's gonna all come in one 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 lump sum but um i may not be financially wealthy but i'm spiritually wealthy and i believe my spiritual wealth kicked in during this um crisis that i'm hoping that we're starting to see the other side of and just the way like people wealthy with money and i'm not the only spiritual wealthy person you know hello oh oh quiet oh, oh, oh mate 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 okay yeah so i'm not the only um other spiritually wealthy people have their blessings, but my spiritual wealth kicked in. Oh, Debbie, 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 brah. Y'all hear me speaking treat? Yeah. So... Yeah, that was me speaking tree. Maybe I'll translate. Should I just translate it for y'all? Um, I saw my friend. I asked them what they were doing. They told me what they were doing. They just pointed. And then they asked me um, if I had something. And I just shook my head and I said no. But then I realized I did have it. So I told them, um, no, 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 no. Come, come get it. And um, they came and got it. Yeah. Oh, so back to the feet. Oh, no, back to spiritual wealth. Back to spiritual wealth. Um, so I, I really think my spiritual wealth kicked in. So it's not a talking-ish point. But really, in 2015, 2014, leading up to my first trip to Ghana. 2015, my first trip in Ghana. 2016, when I started promoting my business full-time. I really am responsible for thousands of people visiting Africa. A lot of a lot of these tour companies, a lot of these individuals, I really gave them the confidence and not in a bragging way, not in a bad way, like you're my sons, you're my kids. No, my work has, that's why all these companies is coming out of New York City. The, that's why Afrochella was full of people from New York and companies from New York. You know, I was a New Yorker who was already on that type of time. So even if people went on and did their own thing that I had nothing to do with, which is obviously the situation. People went on their own time and I had nothing to do with it. I was one of the first people to say, and if not the first person, or one of the first two, three people to say, 
hey, you can do this and this is what we should be doing, especially once 17 and 18 started kicking around and my pictures and my testimonies and, you know, started showing up and then Ghana did the year to return. So even though I've only taken about 300 people or so, um, maybe pushing for, I'm going to start, I'm, I'm going to do my count again. I think, I think I'm around, if I'm around 360, I'm going to start saying four, but, um, did I pass it? This is one of my favorite trees. Let me go back to one of my favorite trees. Um, yeah. So even though I don't get the financial wealth, I don't get the financial wealth, which is important. I got the spiritual wealth. I got the spiritual wealth. The spiritual wealth is what got me out here. Oh, okay. This is this is like actual, like this is not even. I'm not ready for this yet. <laughs> I put my flip flops back on. But like this tree, I just love how it's rooted. Like the roots is crazy on this tree. That's the roots. The roots is just crazy. It's just beautiful on this tree. So when I walk by this one, this one is always dope to me. So again, it's the um you can see something I forgot what they call monkey monkey um monkey pots. The one I'm zooming in on now. Actually no, that's a part of the branch. This is not the monkey pot tree. I'm not a botanist. Like, I mean I could take tours every day and kind of learn about this place every day, but I decided, you know, to work on other projects. But again, the spiritual wealth kicks in. I probably I'm probably I probably have millions of dollars of spiritual wealth. Tens of millions of dollars of spiritual wealth. Hundreds of millions of dollars of spiritual wealth. So, yeah. Yeah, so that's what that that's what spiritual wealth brings. And you know, I have to start doing more research on it. Um it, you know, um my ex from many, many years ago, um, Michaela's mom, we used to always talk about our spiritual bank accounts. You know. Um um much you know, um, we used to always talk about like our spiritual bank accounts. Like when you do good things, karma. When you do good things and you pray and you fast and you put out good energy in the world, you actually build up a spiritual bank account. We're in a, especially being in America, we're in a um, capitalist society and we only care about the physical, which is important. Physical wealth is important. But there are times when that spiritual account I'm not here being um, a theologian right now, but there's times where the spiritual account definitely kicks in, you know, because all this is over. This is going to be over soon. If, you know, I know you hear about a second wave and stuff like this, but eventually within some time, life comes on like it was World War Two. Life eventually came on, you know, um, this is something the whole world. This is not just black people affected. So people leave you in slavery for 400 years. This is being affected by the whole world. Life is going to go on in some 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 way, form of fashion. <sighs> All right. I'm going on 10 minutes in this video. So I'm going to, you know, just cut the video. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed. You know, I'm going to have to find platforms where I could do like 30 minute, one hour discussions. And maybe when I come back, I'll do a little podcast. We'll see. All right, take care, y'all.